Hello, it's George, and in this video, I'm going to compare the iPhone 14 to the Galaxy S24, and I know this is a very strange comparison. Shouldn't I be comparing the S24 to the iPhone 15 or even to the iPhone 15 Pro? Well, technically, yes, because those are more comparable phones, but turns out the S24 has a very comparable price to the iPhone 14, so there's a lot of people trying to decide between the two. That's the reason I'm making this video, and I hope that by the end you will have a very clear decision on which one is the better phone although i'm going to tell you off the rip that i think the s24 is a better phone let's begin by talking about the exterior design which surprisingly is one of the closest uh, parts or components between the two they both have glass on the back aluminum on the sides which by the way they both have completely flat edges that's something that's very interesting considering that apple has now moved away from those completely flat edges because they are a little uncomfortable. Samsung decided to, I guess, start using those in their in their phones. I'm not, I'm not really sure it's the best idea because a lot of people complained uh, with the iPhone 14s and 13s and 12s that they were not the most comfortable phones to hold. So it's kind of strange that Samsung is deciding to do this now, especially when they came from more ergonomic, more comfortable phones with rounded edges. The only difference that I quote unquote care about in this department is that the iPhone 14 has glossy glass on the back and the S24 has a matte glass on the back, which feels noticeably better, noticeably smoother, noticeably more premium. So yeah, if you, if you're a fan of a premium looking or feeling, I'm sorry, phones, the S24 is going to be a better choice, but in every other way, they are exactly the same. They even have the same size. Look at this. They are very, very comparable in size. Maybe the S24 is a tad bit bigger, but in terms of girth, length, uh, display size, they are identical. And that's, that's I guess, the, the, the trend right now is to make the sort of like small compact phone with 6.1 inches which would be this, and then make a huge, very expensive phone that's 6.7, 6.8 inches, which would be the uh, S24 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max, in this case, although this is the normal 15 Pro. Where we do see more noticeable differences is when we compare these two phones in terms of internal components. The iPhone 14 has the A15 Bionic, which is two generations old compared to, for example, the A16 on the iPhone 15 or the A17 Pro on the iPhone 15 Pro, while the S24 has the latest and greatest chip for an Android phone, the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, which, by the way, is the same one we have on the Ultra version. This is a $1,500 phone. This is a $900 phone. They both have the same processor. That's pretty amazing. So, yes, technically, we could say that the uh, iPhone 14 is two generations behind the S24 when it comes to its processor, and that's definitely uh, not going to be noticeable when we use uh, these phones in our day-to-day -day lives because, you know, using a phone nowadays has become overly simple, overly easy for these processors. They're incredibly powerful, and the things we do with our phones are the same. We we use Instagram. We, we open up TikTok to watch videos. We do very simple things. So, of course, there's not going to be a noticeable there we go. Maybe there's a bit more RAM and it keeps apps in the background better on the S24. But when it comes to app launching speed, there's not that big of a difference in, in either phone. They are both incredibly fast, incredibly responsive. Three, two, one. There we go. Identical. As I said, in day-to-day in -day activities, they both feel exactly the same. Where I did notice a bit of a difference was when I tried to play more demanding games like uh, Genshin Impact or Call of Duty. These kinds of games, of course, use every single bit of resources on the phone because they are very complex uh uh, programs. I mean, Genshin Impact is a game we can play on a PS5, we can play on a PC, and it's an open world game with very demanding graphics that takes every single bit of, of resources it finds on, on the phone. In the case of the iPhone 14, we're going to be able to play it at high settings, 60 FPS, and with the iPhone, uh, I'm sorry, the S24, we're going to be able to play it at high settings, 120 FPS. So it's going to give us a bit better experience with that phone, I'm sorry, with that game, but in day-to-day -day activities, once again, it is going to be completely identical in, in both phones. And by the way, for those wondering, they are both running the latest version of their operative systems. In the, in the S24, we have Android 14 and One UI 6.1, and on the iPhone 14, we have iOS 17.5.1, so the latest versions 
of each operative system. And as I said, they run incredibly well. Back in the day, there was a very big difference in fluidity and optimization between uh, the iPhone and Samsung phones. The iPhone was way smoother, way more, as I said, optimized. It felt better. It felt more stable. But nowadays, I, I would say they're they're identical. In fact, the S24 maybe feels a little bit snappier, maybe feels a little bit faster, but I guess that has to do with the animations and not necessarily how optimized the phone is. But yes, if you if you were trying to decide between the two and you, if you were scared that maybe uh, Android phones are not as smooth, maybe are not as, as optimized, I can tell you that at least the S24 is as stable and optimized when it comes to the, its operative system than the iPhone. The only big difference you should probably keep in mind is that they have very different ecosystems. Uh, the S24 has its own set of apps, its own set of uh, programs, both from Samsung and from Android. And the iPhone, of course, has the Apple ecosystem with uh, FaceTime, iMessage, Notes, Maps, you know, all the Apple apps. So if you're a fan of the Apple ecosystem, you should probably go for the iPhone 14. If you're a fan of the Android ecosystem, you should probably go for the S24. But anyways, I want to move on to the battery life. And I've taken all the phones uh, that I had in my desk out and I've organized them from best battery battery life to worst battery life so you could have a more dynamic explanation uh, of course as you can see the s24 basing basing on my listing has a better battery life than the iphone 14 to be more specific maybe 30 minutes of of screen on time more than the iphone 14 but a big a big note that i want to uh i want to give you on this is that there's a very big difference between large phones with 6.6 6.7 6.8 uh, inch displays and compact 6.1 inch displays. There's a three hour difference between this phone and this phone, this is the iPhone 15, but between all of these phones, there's barely 30 minutes of difference between the best one and the worst one. So it's not like you're going to experience a huge improvement in battery life and performance if you go for the S24 as opposed to the iPhone 14. They are both identical, almost identical. I just wanted to make that clear. Even though the S24 is better, it is just a little bit better and you're probably not going to notice a difference in your day-to-day -day life. What's probably the biggest difference between the iPhone 14 and the Galaxy S24 has to be the display. There is a huge difference, even though it doesn't look like it, between these two phones. First of all, the S24 has 2600 nits of brightness which is a very insane number. It is uh, comparable to the uh, S24 Ultra. It is more than what we get on the iPhone 15 Pros. It is, it is insane. While on the iPhone 14, we get only 1,200 nits, which is less than half the, the peak brightness than we get on the S24. So it's a huge difference in brightness between the two. Then we also get thinner bezels, which even though it's not maybe as noticeable of a difference, it is there and it makes the phone feel, feel overall more futuristic, more premium, more expensive. As you can see, the notch is very big compared to the hole punch on the S24. We also get 120 hertz on the S24 while we, we get 60 on the iPhone because Apple, you know, Apple is Apple and they still don't want to include 120 hertz on their normal phones, which sucks because this is kind of a standard feature nowadays on pretty much every phone, even low end phones. Oh, look at that. Jake Paul is going to fight Mike Tyson. That's very crazy, in my opinion. And well, then technically Samsung has a little bit better panel, but I did not notice that difference. I think it's because Apple calibrates their phones in a very efficient way. They're very, very good at calibrating the colors and the, and the contrast and all the parameters of the display. So even though maybe Samsung has a bit better panel, it's not really that noticeable. And when it comes to, to the... Um, angles of uh, re color reproduction for based on angles. How do you call this? The angles of vision, vision angles, whatever. Uh, they, they are both pretty much identical. As you can see, I mean, it's something it's, it's better shown than said. So I'm going to show you so you can get to your, con your own conclusions. But I think they're both pretty much identical. There's not a big difference between the two in, in vision of ang angle of vision, whatever it is. Then when it comes to the cameras, we also find a very noticeable difference between the two phones, which is that as you can see, the S24 has three cameras on the back, while the iPhone 14 only has two cameras, which may not seem like a big deal for a lot of people, but it, it really expands the functionality of what you can do with the camera as opposed to the iPhone. In this case, we have a 112 megapixel ultra wide camera, 112 megapixel ultra wide camera. We have a 50 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel main sensor. They are both about the same size, so they're gonna take very comparable photos. 
but then we have a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto on the S24 and we get nothing on the iPhone. And just so you can get an idea of the range you, you can uh, achieve on the S24, I'm going to take a, an ultra wide photo, I'm going to take a main camera photo, and I'm going to take a 3x telephoto photo so you can appreciate the the differences you can see we can zoom in pretty pretty close on, on the on the cameras of the iphone 15 pro and we can go all the way back to an ultra wide picture where we can see a lot of things that are in my desk as you can see there's phones here there's my keyboard i'm sorry i have hiccups uh, my keyboard my my display it's it's a huge difference in in range of of focal focal distance so to say that we just don't get on the iPhone. We we sort of get something like that on the iPhone 15s because since we have a high resolution sensor, we we can get a 2x telephoto inside of that main sensor, which is, you know, very advanced technology. A lot of people think it's a digital zoom, but it's not. It is an a, it, there's a camera inside of this camera, so to say, but we don't get that on the iPhone 13. I'm sorry, 14 because it only has 12 megapixels. So yeah, definitely there is a, a better, more complex camera on the S24 and also we have more functionality as you can see we have pro video we have pro photo which uh, gives us a lot more customization uh, for every par parameter like the the white balance the 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 exposure the the shutter speed the iso we also get a uh, better video where we can record up to 8k 30 fps which is absolutely insane as you can see 8k video on a on a less than a thousand dollar phone that's insane there's no 8k video on any camera that's not you know up to three four thousand uh, dollars right now it's it's an a very it's a very exclusive feature in pro video cameras and that the fact that we get it on a phone is is remarkable to say the least so yeah i think it's very clear that the s24 is the better phone it has as I said, a better camera, better display, better processor, better battery life. It has a sleeker uh, design with a matte glass, although that's you know very subjective. But in my opinion, it's a bit more more sleek, more premium, and it it's the same price. That's uh, you know that's very interesting. It, there's still going to be a lot of people choosing the iPhone because it has iMessage, because it has it has FaceTime, it has the Apple ecosystem, and that's completely fair. You know, if you're part of the Apple ecosystem. It's a big deal. There's a lot of very interesting apps, like the Notes app, which is is maybe it sounds a little ridiculous, but it's one of the best note taking apps ever made, and it's free for Apple users. You know, there's a lot of advantages if you're part of the Apple ecosystem. But if you're on the fence between the two phones, you don't really care about either ecosystem, and you just want a good phone. Definitely, you should go for the S24. It's a much better phone for the same price. Either way, I'm going to leave both phones with a discount for Amazon down below in the description, just in case you want to buy them or take a look. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I see you all in the next one.